हाय गाइस दिस इज विश्वजीत त्रिपाठी एंड टुडे आई वाज सब्सक्राइबिंग वन ईयर ये फाइव मैगजीन एंड आई गॉट ए फ्री वाईफाई मॉडल सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी एंड सो आई एम मेकिंग दिस स्मॉल वीडियो जस्ट टू वॉक यू थ्रू फॉर दिस टू नो अबाउट दिस डिवाइस फीचर्स टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशंस एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस ओके Uh, so uh, this is a ES P one two E Wi-Fi IoT model, okay. and the core processor uh, which is inside uh, this device is ESP eight two six six EX model, and uh, this device is uh, developed by AI Thinker organization, and uh, uh, this is a very high performance, uh, high integration wireless uh, system on chip, okay, and the microcontroller uh, which is embedded in this is. Uh, Uh, Tensilica L one zero six thirty two bit microcontroller unit. Okay, uh, it consumes very low power and uh, works in low cost and minimum space requirement. Okay, and uh, it provides uh, better ability to embedded uh, Wi-Fi capabilities within other systems. Uh, I mean, uh, the beauty is we can control uh, other system using uh, this Wi-Fi device. Okay. and also it can be used to host application uh, as well as web pages or uh, we can use it uh, as a wifi interface to other processor or microcontroller uh, which doesn't have an inbuilt wifi device okay and this can be done using uh, any simple connectivity interface such as uh, uh, serial peripheral interface or uh, uh, secure digital input output interface or integrated inter circuit and uh, uart interface as well okay uh, so uh, there is there is no uh, programmable rom inside this so whatever program will write uh, the or the user program it will be stored in external spi flash okay and uh, the size is of uh, 4 mb uh, if any larger storage space is required uh, then uh, spi external flash uh, of higher memory will be required okay and uh, in Theoretically speaking, uh, uh, the maximum size which can be supported is of sixteen MB. Okay, and uh, when it hosts the application, so the program will directly be uh, booted from uh, uh, external SPI flash. And uh, this device has an internal cache memory, uh, so that the perf uh, system performance can be improved. Okay, and uh, also you can see it here uh, how compact. Uh, this device is so and also it will it is very easy to program also okay and this device has uh, uh, 32 pins okay so out of these 32 pins uh, it has uh, 16 gpios pins uh, and these pins are multi purpose uh, uh, pins okay and out of these uh, uh, 16 gpios general purpose input output pin uh four uh, gpios are used for um, spi interface which is a serial peripheral interface so um, these four pins are uh, one is for uh, chip selection uh, which is uh, gpio 15 and another is for master output slave input and master input slave output those two pins are for spi and uh, the fourth pin is for clock signal okay and uh, there is a adc pin uh, which is analog to digital converter and uh, there are some other pins uh, which is for uh, miscellaneous uh, input output pins or ground pins are also there and uh, there are enable pins and reset pin okay and this v in pin uh, so it will be used for input voltage okay which will be provided and uh, this voltage support uh, it can be it support a minimum of 5 volt to Uh, maximum of twelve volt DC, okay, and uh, uh, actually the operating voltage of this device is uh, minimum of three volt to uh, maximum of three point six volt. Uh, but uh, uh, so there is a device, uh, maybe I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, so this is the device uh, AMS one 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 seven. so this is a drop out uh, voltage regulator so what it will do um, if we are providing voltage of 5 volt to 12 volt uh, then it will uh, step down the voltage to its operating voltage okay 
so uh, within this uh, small pcb area uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, uh, it integrates a lot of uh, things such as uh, power amplifier is there uh, uh, there are onboard antenna switches and uh, uh, there are power management modules, filters, low noise receive amplifiers and also RF devices there. So, uh, and the uh, power supply and uh, program loading will be done through this mini USB port. Okay, this is one. And you can see there are two switches. One is RST and plus. So, this RST switch is to uh, reset the external uh, SPI plus and this flash switch is for uh, uh, in case you want to upgrade the firmware okay and unless until it is very much necessary don't do it uh, okay and coming to features um, it uh, uses wi-fi standard of 802.11 b or z or n okay and the operating frequency range is of uh, 2.4 gigahertz to 2.6 gigahertz okay and uh, the operation mode is uh, station or soft access point or station as well as soft access point and in our project uh, in later videos i'll show you uh, and we'll use the soft access point uh, operation mode okay and the best thing is this device can be configured in both android as well as uh, ios device okay and uh, uh, the operating current is 80 milliampere and I have already told you the operating voltage is uh, 3 to 3.6 uh, volt okay and uh, uh, there is a 10 digit analog to digital converter is there and there are several uh, regulators are also there and uh, it generally uses uh, the network uh, IPv4 network protocols TCP, UDP, HTTP and um, FTP um, okay so Coming to uh, application, uh, it can be used for uh, home appliances such as to uh, control refrigerators, TV, uh, light bulbs, fans, um, and also uh, it can be used in uh, home automation. Okay, and uh, uh, it can be also used in uh, to control uh, motor speed. Okay, and um, uh, in later video i'll show you uh, how to control uh, other systems using this device okay and also it is used in uh, ip cameras sensor networks and uh, uh, wearable electronics and also it can be used in wi-fi wi position systems or wi-fi uh, location our devices okay so uh, that's all about this uh, device features and technical specifications so and also i have uh, 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 I have described some uh, connectivity interface so if you want to know about uh, more detail uh, if you know, uh, want to know more detail about those connectivity interface such as SPI UART so please do comment uh, so that I'll uh, make another short video okay and uh, uh, this uh, this uh, device will be programmed in uh, Arduino um, software okay and uh, or it can be used uh, it can be programmable through Lua script Okay. and um, so uh, in my next video uh, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, configure this device and how to load programs and also uh, demonstrate one uh, uh, project uh, so that you can uh, we'll, we'll see how to uh, control system using this device okay so till that time uh, please uh, stay tuned and uh, uh, please like uh, comment and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this video uh, so that uh, you'll be notified um, uh, regarding the upcoming videos so uh, thank you guys uh, thanks for listening